I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, uh, take it away, Doctor. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is brought to you by Go to Meeting with HD Faces. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon netcast. And this week, <laughs> I'm telling you, I got nothing. <laughs> well, not entirely. I got a little something, but it ain't much. <laughs> oh, well. By the way, if you'll notice up here in the corner, I have a logo. Yes. That is the official drbill.net. Actually, yes, drbillbailey.net if you want to be perfectly technical. Uh, Zap logo. That's what I call it, the Zap logo, because it has a very artsy, zappy-looking thing to it. Yes. So... It'll just sit up there and be bored. But, hey. Anyway, <laughs> we are, of course, proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. Techpodcast.com if it's tech. It's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Yes, indeed. This week, I didn't forget to take it off the screen. Yes. Um, but as I was saying, I don't, I don't got nothing this week. At least not much. Our first item, <laughs> I hate to admit this, is Microsoft News. You know it's a slow week when I start with Microsoft News. Oh well. Let me say, of course, that the... <laughs> Netcast is taken from the blog of the same name, drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, and you can go there and read it for yourself, even when there's not much to read, when it's boring. All right, this is from ZDNet. Ed Bott had an article on ZDNet that describes what he found in the official Release to Manufacturing otherwise known as the RTM version of Windows 8. Okay? And he looked at it on August uh, 1st, because that's when they released it. Microsoft released Windows 8, officially, to manufacturing to be packaged, stamped, sealed, and wrapped in plastic before it is shipped out. So it's the final release. And it has a new build number, of course, which is 9200. Now, as he says, a bit of trivia here. Uh, Windows RTM build numbers in the modern era are always divisible by 16. Why that's important, I have no idea. Its official version number is 6.2, making it part of the same evolutionary line as Windows 7, which was 6.1, and Windows Vista, which was 6.0. So this is 6.2. Okay, now some people are going to point out that Windows uh, Vista was terrible and Windows 7 was good. So it's time for a bad one. <laughs> they usually do bad, good, bad, good. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> maybe Windows 8 will buck that trend. I don't know. I don't really... I don't have a lot of hope for Windows 8, actually, personally, but we'll see. You know, I, should, I shouldn't judge yet until I see it in its glory. Okay, if you spend any time playing with the release preview, he says, you'll see only small changes in the release to manufacturing code. The biggest difference is that the free previews are over. Yes. And you'll have to pay or find a trial version to evaluate Windows 8 from here on out. Okay. He says, I've had a very brief head start with the release to manufacturing bits. Long enough to install them on a couple of test machines and share some first impressions. It's still too early to offer a final review 
with two very large pieces of the Echo system still missing. The modern apps used to be called Metro, but they couldn't use that phrase anymore because it violates somebody's copyright or whatever. As well as the presumably large number of devices that will be spe specifically built for Windows 8. Yes. You will see one big change in the setup. You can't install Windows 8 without entering a product key. It just can't be done. So get over it. <laughs> You're going to have to buy a legitimate copy. So anyway. Um, da -da 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 -da, what else? He says, In his testing, the performance was uniformly excellent. Even on a nearly 5-year-old Dell desktop PC... Uh, as was the case in the release preview, startup and shutdown are impressively fast, and every app I used was quick and responsive. So he basically liked it. One surprise in the official store was the first official appearance of the Xbox Smart Glass brand, which replaces the earlier Xbox Companion app. None of these things are terribly exciting. I didn't say the news would be exciting. I said it would be sh short, brief, not much of it. Okay, so let's talk about something a bit more exciting, and that, of course, is our sponsor, as I mentioned at the very first of the program, and that is Citrix Systems Go to Meeting with HD Faces. Now, I've mentioned this before, but and we're just about at the end of summer, but all summer long people have been running hither and yon, going all kinds of places. And a lot of times you've even been taking vacation. I mean, that's good to do. But in some cases, particularly if you're very important to your business, they've wanted you in on conversations that you just couldn't participate in because you were on vacation. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to use GoToMeeting with HD Faces. All you got to do is... Use a webcam, connect up with GoToMeeting, and have your meeting, even if you're sitting at the beach, sipping on a cold drink, clinking your ice. Yes, you can do that with GoToMeeting with HD Faces. And with HD Faces, you have full high definition video. You can share your desktop, you can collaborate, you can even use your iPad. Dude. All kinds of good things that you can do with GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Now, here's what you need to do. Use this banner's information to go to GoToMeeting.com. Enter the special code word PODCAST, P-O-D-C-A-S-T, that code word. When you enter that code word, you will, first of all, give props to Tech Podcast Network and the Dr. Bill Show that we told you about the glorious, wonderful GoToMeeting with HD Faces, which will solve your collaboration issues, I'm telling you. So I can highly recommend it to you, and I encourage you to go right now, do it, go to the website, enter that code word, and get your free month, 30 days, of testing of GoToMeeting. Full features, all the features enabled. You can take advantage of it. And I'm telling you, you won't regret it. So do it now. Okay. All right. Next item we're going to talk about. I know Fred will give me a hard time over this. Fred, as you know, is the guy that puts up the little brief messages there on the screen while I'm not looking. Yes, he can be a little snide sometimes. <laughs> yes, Fred, I'm talking to you. Anyway, P-H-R-E-D Fred, by the way. Um, He's an unusual guy. Anyway, I'll digress just a bit, even though I'm sure he will complain a bit. And that is that way back in the day, way back in the day, I was a photographer, both for my high school yearbook and my high school uh, newspaper. And I took sports photos, and I took senior class photos, and I took all kinds of action shots and things like that. 
and was really into photography. As a matter of fact, I went to college, UNCG, uh, with a degree in studio art, painting, printmaking, and photography. So I was totally, totally into photography. And being totally into photography, I was really jazzed about Kodak. Kodak the company, because I used their film. I also used Fujifilm, but anyway. But I used Kodak, and Kodak was a big name in the photography world. Well, guess what? All of those days are pretty much gone because my Nikons that I have here in the office use real film and now we're using digital film. Matter of fact, oh, I don't have it here with me, but I have a digital camera. I don't need film anymore. Well, that's a problem for Kodak, as you might imagine. <laughs> they don't have much to sell. But along the way, they did develop some uh, digital photo technology. And they were at the cutting edge of that at one point. And they developed all these patents. So they were talking about selling their patents. Well, now they may hold on to them a little longer. They're having second thoughts about selling off their digital imaging patent portfolio. Says the struggling photography pioneer, which for the past year has been gearing up to sell off some 1,100 patents as part of an effort to emerge from bankruptcy, said Thursday it may not sell some or all of them after all. Kodak has not reached a determination or agreement to sell the digital imaging patent portfolio and may retain all or part of it as a source of creditor recoveries in the lieu of a sale if it concludes that doing so is in the best interest of the estate. It's kind of a sad thing to see Kodak reduced to barely trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? And back in the day, we used to really love Kodak film. Paul Simon even had a song that he sang about Kodachrome. Kodachrome, the nice bright colors, gives you the greens of summers. I can't remember the whole song. <laughs> but I played it a lot because I was really into photography. Yes. Anyway, I think he also may have done Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard, but that had nothing to do with photography. So anyway, but it had some cool effect stuff going on in the background. Doop, 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 doop. Anyway, never mind. So, go! Oh! <laughs> okay, Fred. <laughs> he plays the geek software drum roll to shut me up. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Can't exactly blame you, but I know what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> Geek Software of the Week this week is... <laughs> Secret Sync. Hard to say. Got too many S's. Secret Sync. <laughs> it is a great way to encrypt and fully, fully secure your Dropbox account. Now, Dropbox is already encrypted, but, you know... Not as well as it should be. But this will create a highly encrypted, secure directory within Dropbox for your most sensitive documents. Yes. So, your files will never leave your possession without being encrypted first. Secret Sync uses client-side encryption to give you absolute privacy and control over your data. It uses 256-bit AES encryption. Dude. So basically, you install Secret Sync, which there's actually a Mac, a Linux, and a Windows version. You install that, connect to your Dropbox account, and when you drag and drop things into your Secret Sync directory within Dropbox, it is fully encrypted before it even gets there which means that it is fully secured. And if you try to access it without Secret Sync, even if you have access to the Dropbox directory, it's just garbage. You can't tell anything about it. Dude. So it's a very clever thing to do. And I know you people are clever. Yes. So, I encourage you to check it out. Okay. <laughs> Last item. I said it was a slow week. 
Last item is a tablet for kids. Yes, it's green, bright green with large icons and animals and cameras to take pictures with on it. Okay, you know, if I was a kid, I'd love to have one of these, I gotta admit. But they're a hundred bucks for a, a little tablet, and it uh, basically gives you, it's on sale for a hundred dollars, and it says it's even ready for sticky fingers. And it's on sale at such places as Target, Best Buy, Kmart, Amazon, and naturally, it's very own website. It's called the Leap Pad. Leap Frogs Leap Pad. Okay, it isn't anywhere near the same class as the Nexus 7. <laughs> no, for obvious reasons, it's targeted at a completely different audience. In other words, the hundred bucks might be just enough to keep your kids away from your precious everyday tablet. <laughs> In other words, give them their own little green tablet with lots of large icons and hope they leave your iPad or your Android tablet alone and keep their sticky fingers off of the screen. Just saying. So it may be worth a hundred bucks to you, you know what I mean? Anyway. Okay. So. Wow. It's kind of embarrassing to have a netcast that doesn't have a whole lot in it. But that's why we're members of the Tech Podcast Network. Maybe you can go look at other tech podcast shows that had some news this week. I couldn't find any that was interesting. There was a lot out there, but it was eh, meh, as the Game Master would say, meh. Stuff that I didn't care anything about, wasn't interested in, and I just don't talk about things I'm not interested in. Yes. So... The Game Master, by the way, will be with us on the next week's show because he has his cousin over and they're doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't interrupt them because they're having fun downstairs. I can tell because they yell every so often. Wah! Crazy things happen down there. Anyway, mostly they play games and record their own videos and, and do walkthroughs and things of that nature. You can... Go check out the Game Master ZX YouTube website and check out all of their videos. It's odd. Anyway, that'll be it for this week. Join me next time, and remember until then, the Doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.